Hello everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at one of the most frequently asked questions I get in the comments across videos new and old. What do I do with my paint water? If you are coming across my channel for the first time or are a newer viewer, you may not already know that I used to be a zoo educator before becoming a full-time wildlife watercolorist and online educator. Conservation is really important to me, and while I don't believe that my small actions can single-handedly save the world, every little bit we do does help. I was drawn to watercolor for a lot of reasons, but one of them was how little waste it creates compared to other painting mediums, both from an eco-friendly perspective and I just don't like cleaning up messes. Acrylic paint is literally plastic when it dries and oil paints can be hazardous depending on what solvents are used with them. Enter watercolors. Being made with gum arabic and possibly other additives like honey or glycerin, the only environmental risk factor with the watercolors are the individual pigments used for each color. Most severely toxic pigments like lead and mercury have already been removed from modern art supplies altogether. However, other toxic pigments like cadmium, cobalt, manganese, nickel, and chromium are still used in many popular colors today. None of these pigments in the form of ready-made watercolors are of major human health concern when handled properly, provided you are not eating your paint or drinking your paint water. However, dumping them down the sink isn't great for our waterways. While our home usage of watercolors is far from the leading cause of water pollution around the world, I still prefer to do what I can to reduce my impact when possible. I am not an expert in paint disposal or watersheds, and I don't know if this is the ultimate best practice for how to handle your watercolor paint water, but here's what I do to reduce my impact as much as I can. I use reusable rags during my painting process that can be cleaned in between uses, but I try to keep in mind when I'm using more toxic pigments so that I can switch to paper towels which can be thrown away instead of washed back into the waterways in my washer. If you have larger amounts of paint to dispose of, like you're cleaning a palette or working with fresh paint, clean those up with paper towels and throw those away as well. Otherwise, I paint as usual with two containers of water, and at the end of my painting sessions, I let them sit overnight so that the heavier pigments settle to the bottom. I have an old brush that I don't care about, and a container that I can collect my leftover paint water in long term. Once as much pigment as possible settles to the bottom of my water container, I pour the rest of the water off the top. I watch for when the heavier pigments, in this case cadmium red and titanium white, start to move towards the edge that I'm pouring from. Then I scrub the bottom of the container with my old paintbrush to release the heavier pigments. And once the pigments are loosened, I pour that water into the collection jar where the rest of the water will eventually evaporate and I'll be left with just the pigments. Please remember to keep this nope jar out of reach of any humans or animals that could accidentally consume it. I highly recommend a lid. Yes, this jar is kind of gross. Yes, you're still left with solid waste to dispose of. However, I have been using the same jar for at least a year and a half or two, and when the water evaporates off the top, the pigments are only like a millimeter deep, meaning this jar will last me ages before I have to dispose of it. If you have more space and don't want to pour any paint water down the drain at all, you can also use a larger container and just wait longer for the water to evaporate. Eventually throwing away this jar into a regular trash can would be similar to throwing away used paper towels, but if you want to go one step further to keeping our environment as safe as possible, you can look up hazardous waste sites in your area. This is going to vary based on your city, state, or country, so I can't give you specifics, but most areas in the United States have somewhere where you can recycle other hazardous materials, including latex house paint and batteries, so you should be able to take this type of jar there as well. 
None of us are perfect. We can only do what we can reasonably do based on our own limitations and accessibility, but any steps towards conservation is better than doing nothing at all. I hope this video was helpful in clearing up what I do with my own paint water, and if that changes in the future, I'll be sure to update the pinned comment below with better practices. Be sure to let us know if you have more eco-friendly painting tips in the comments below. Thank you so much to all of my patrons and to everyone watching. I will see you in the next one, and until then, happy painting.